This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. There are few activities as enjoyable as paddling a canoe down a flowing river, whether you're on a day trip or an overnight camp trip. But paddling a canoe on a river with current has its challenges and its dangers. And so in this video, we're gonna look at three techniques that anyone taking a canoe into current should know. The first techniques we're gonna look at are the stern draw and pry. These are key strokes for solo canoers and for the person at the back of a tandem canoe because they represent the best way to initiate turns or for keeping the boat going straight. The stern pry starts with your paddle flat against the side of the canoe at the stern with your lower shaft hand resting on the gunnel just behind the hip and your top control hand reaching across the canoe. With your blade fully immersed, you'll pull your top control hand inward while your lower shaft hand stays on the gunnel, acting as a pivot point for the pry. The stern draw is used to turn your canoe in the opposite direction. The idea is to pull water directly to the stern of your canoe, and this is done by planting your paddle blade behind you and away from the side of the canoe. To take the stroke, you'll push your top control hand across the canoe while you pull your lower shaft hand back and towards the stern of the canoe. Just make sure to lift the blade out of the water before it hits your canoe, where it can get pinned and throw you off balance. The second technique in canoeing for fast flowing rivers is the eddy turn. It's the best way to turn from the main flow into an eddy, which is the calm water usually found along the shorelines or behind islands. The eddy turn is a key technique for running flowing rivers because it lets you safely and confidently work your way down a section of fast moving water in sections, hopping from one eddy to the next. The goal of the eddy turn is to carve a smooth turn into or out of the eddy while spending as little time as possible on the eddy line itself, which is the confused water that lies between the main current and the eddy. If you plan on paddling in anything but mild river current without any major obstacles, then you really should take a river canoeing course, which will teach you things like eddy turns along with other river running techniques. The third key technique that all river runners should know is how to swim in flowing rivers in case you end up flipping. If it's safe and reasonable, the ideal situation is to swim yourself in gear to shore. To do this, you'll want to position yourself upstream of your canoe and with a firm hold of the canoe with one hand. Of course, if your gear is taking you somewhere you don't want to go, then you'll want to leave your gear and simply swim yourself to shore. If you find yourself swimming in particularly rough or rocky water, you'll want to assume a defensive swimming position with your butt tucked up and toes on or near the surface. This defensive position doesn't let you move quickly, but it's the safest position to swim through current. If the water is deeper or getting to shore as quickly as possible is of most importance, you'll want to swim offensively, which means getting on your stomach and swimming hard to shore. Either way, the most important rule to remember is to never stand up in fast moving water. Standing up in current can result in foot entrapment, which is one of the most common causes of death in moving water. What happens is that your foot can get lodged between rocks or anything else on the riverbed. The current can then knock you over and trap you underwater. Avoiding a foot entrapment is as simple as not standing up in fast moving water. So there you have it, three key techniques that all river canoers should know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more tips and tricks.